In this blog, we're going to look at manual inspection inside of Fusion 360. This tool is available within the manufacturer workspace and it enables us to create manual inspection features that we can also use to create an inspection report. So there's a few prerequisites that we need for this. First of all, the main important one is that we need to make sure that we've created a part setup. So we've created our work coordinate system for how we're going to be doing our measurements. Okay. But the other option we have then is whether we're going to be getting our dimensions and tolerances for our features on our model from a drawing or alternately whether we're going to get them from model based definition which is 3D annotations in a model that's been exported out which we can do inside of Inventor okay and we've done this in a previous blog recently so what we'll do we've created a setup if I just double click you can see how our part's been set up so as that's pointing upwards for got our x in this direction y in that direction we've set up our stock and we've also gone and set up our work coordinate system number so what I'm interested in here is then going to the inspection tab and coming in and doing measurements now with this particular example I've got here I've got existing PMI data that I've imported in from Inventor so what I can do is I can turn that on and I can turn on a specific dimension and we can see what we're, what we're working with so we can see here that we've got a dimension between that flat face there to the centre of that hole and that's 20 millimetres so what we'll do is we'll come into here and we'll create a manual inspection and what we'll do we'll click on a face there and we'll click on that face there and we've got our dimension there and we can put in our our size so 20 millimetres with our tolerance upper and lower okay and I can record a position there for where the dimension is taken as well click OK what you'll notice is as I start coming in and creating the manual inspection it starts putting in the manual inspection feature along with the measurement so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work my way through these other dimensions and then we'll come back through and see what I've done so I've now created some manual inspections for the various features within this model okay now once these manual inspections have been created when I start to manufacture these parts I can actually go and take some manual measurements with a micrometer of a vernier for example and what I can actually start to go and do is that I can click on these and record measurements so you can see here I've got a measurement there of 20 okay so I can give that measurement there for example let's say it came in at 19.95 or 99 go next and put the next size in there and let's say 1.9 when we put the sizes in we can see here that whether they're within tolerance or not within tolerance 
as we can see here and as we start putting them in they come into here under results so what we can do is we can work our way through these dimensions and these inspections for example and we can come into here and fill in the results so we got there 75 say for example could be 7280 and the 300 might come in at 299.98 you can see as we start putting in our sizes if they're shown in green we know that they're within tolerance that we've put in okay so as we start going through and filling out the rest of these dimensions we can come into here again and we can go in and put additional sizes in so we can put in the measured size and the measured and if it's within on this one here we can say if it's in green we know we're good to go now likewise if we were to go in and do an inspection and we were to find out that actually the distance between the holes isn't what we think it's going to be The dimension will come through instead of being green it will come through as yellow which will let us know that it's out of tolerance okay so you know once we filled for in all of this inspection data for these manual inspections that we've created what we can then go and do at the end is that we can show the results so we can see here what our various sizes are and we can see then whether they're intolerance or not intolerance okay so we can also do that but what we can also do as well is that we can save an inspection report so we can see here a picture of our model and then we can see then our various sizes that we've put in and whether they're within tolerance or not okay so we have the ability here to go and print this off as well okay and we can also go in as well and we can change the header and footer as well so it's all fully editable so this is something else that we can do within the uh, manual inspection report as well I hope you found this blog useful if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to get in contact with us mm -hmm.